everybody, what is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media, and today's real user review, we're gonna be taking a look at the Proof 72 hour Marina Wool t-shirts from Huckberry. Now, Proof is one of the in-house brands of Huckberry, and Huckberry did send me all of these t-shirts for free, but to all of the opinions in this video are mine and mine alone. I did not share this content with Huckberry Private Publication. They will see this when you do. Now, if you saw the unboxing, you'll know that the t-shirts that I'm about to talk about were part of a large box that Huckberry did send me for review. So this is the uh, first installment of, uh, of my Huckberry Proof t-shirts. And I've been wearing these for about a month or so now. Um, not exclusively, I have filtered in some of my other t-shirts uh, as I've been wearing them, but I have been wearing these quite a bit. And I have been wearing these for days in a row because these are the 72 hour Marina wool t-shirts, meaning you can wear these for three days straight without washing them. And I believe this is, I mean, you can't really tell by, by this black one is three days worn and it honestly still smells new. You can't even tell that I've worn this for three days in a row. The blue one, um, I forget what color this is. I think this is the teal green performance fit. Uh, I think I'm on day two of wearing this uh, in a row. So all of these shirts are in different stages of wear. So I have a brand new one that I have not worn at all intentionally for this video, one that I just washed, one that I believe I'm two days wearing, and one that I've had for three days in a row. So I'm gonna talk about all of that. But before we get into all of that, let's do a little bit of a spec rundown of the shirts. The Proof 72 Hour Marina Wool T-shirt comes in two different cuts, a performance fit and a classic fit both of which will run you $88 USD. The performance fit comes in 18 different colors, where the classic comes in four different colors. The performance fit is a slimmer cut in the arms and the chest, where the classic fit is much looser. Now these shirts are actually machine washable. A lot of times Merino wool is not machine washable. Uh, I personally wash these in a bin with a little bit of uh, Dr. Bronner's soap. So I did not put these in the washing machine yet, but they recommend that you use cold water on a gentle cycle. But right now, before we go any further, we have a special guest. I'm going to pop down and I'm going to... We have a special guest, and that is Hazel! Hey! I want my guest. Thanks, baby. Hazel is joining us for the review. So, Hazel, what do you think of the t shirts that I'm wearing? I think this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Which one's your favorite one. color? The green one! The green one? She likes the green one because she knows green is my favorite color. Now, if we wanna do a direct comparison between size medium classic fit, the green one on top, and the size large performance fit, the ox blood on bottom, I have them laid on top of each other here. So the size large is a little bit wider in the body, not too much. It's probably a quarter inch wider, maybe. Uh, it's a little bit more in the length of the body, which is probably closer to about a half an inch in length. But if we wanna go, uh, across the chest and we line these up pit to pit they are actually just about the same size pit to pit across the chest and then one thing i did not do in the unboxing was compare the sleeve because the performance is tighter in the chest in the sleeve if you look very very closely even though the ox blood is a size large the sleeve does look a tiny bit slimmer but they are basically the same sleeve length but i will say the performance definitely feels, wearing it, it, you can feel it's a little tighter, a little more form-fitting across the chest and in the sleeves. As I'm wearing these, if I'm wearing the performance, I'm feeling like I prefer the performance, but if I'm wearing the classic, I feel like I'm preferring the little bit roomierness in the classic. So if I was forced to choose between the performance and the classic, I would probably go with the size large performance just for that little bit more form fitting, a little bit more snugness. I like the way that feels, especially if I'm wearing this underneath another shirt, how I've been wearing it to work. I wear this as my undershirt, wear a button down over it, come home, take the button down off, and then just wear the uh, t-shirt for the rest of the night. But if we get back into it, really between the uh, large performance and the medium classic there's not that much of a difference so if you wanted to have that little bit of a form fitting across the chest and a little bit snugger in the sleeves but you didn't want to feel constricted in the body i would definitely say size up to a large in the performance because it gives me that fit and that cut that i'm looking for and the reason i did that was i felt like 
I'm getting a little older, I don't want my shirts to be super, super skin tight anymore. So I felt like if I got a medium in the performance fit, it might be too snug on me. I have gotten other t-shirts in like an athletic cut before, which is essentially performance fit, and they were like skin on baloney. I didn't like them, even though they're size medium, got from the same company, uh, the classic fit of theirs, and it fit completely differently. It was like, almost like I was wearing a sail compared to wearing a second skin. So that I was afraid that was gonna happen with the proof. Honestly, after wearing them, I don't think that would have been the case. I feel like the medium in the performance probably would have, well, definitely would have been a slimmer cut on me, but I don't think it would have been super tight where I wouldn't have worn the shirt. But I'm very happy with the size large in the performance because if, I feel like it's it fits my body well and it's still giving me that extra form fittingness, form fittingness, it's a word, I just said it, where I would like it. Now I wanna talk about stages of wear. The Oxblood is brand new. I have not worn this one yet. I saved it specifically so I can show what a brand new one looks like on camera. The green one has been worn a couple times, but it has been washed and has not been worn since it was washed. The black one has been washed, but it has been worn three days in a row without getting washed. So this one needs to be washed. And the teal blue has also been washed, but this is my second day in a row wearing it. So really, if you're looking at these shirts, we have brand new, uh, it's a little wrinkly because it was still in the box. We have um, worn but washed and not worn since it's been washed, a little wrinkly because it was in a drawer. Worn a whole bunch of times, worn three days in a row, needs to be washed and uh, it's definitely wrinkly and has been washed but is on its second day in a row of being worn and is not that wrinkly. So really, the only thing that looks different in these shirts that you can even tell if it's new, used, worn, or washed is uh, the more days in a row you wear it, the wrinklier the shirt gets. Because I could take this black one, that does need to be washed. I have worn this for three days in a row. This is day three in a row of wearing the Proof 72 Hour Merino Wool Hoodie and um, it doesn't smell at all. The uh, first two days, it was like 81, 82 degrees. I wore all day as an undershirt, came home, got changed, walked Duke the dog, a little warm, got a little bit sweaty. The shirt does not smell at all. It even wicked the moisture away pretty well. Today was a little bit cooler. Uh, we walked down the street. There is a um, festival, our tomato festival is happening down the road. You can hear Hazel, she's hyped up on all the candy she had. Um, so we walked down the hill, back up the hill. It was a little cooler, so I wasn't really that sweaty, but uh, still wore it all day long. You know, the caveat here is I did not sleep in this t-shirt. I wore it all day, and I did shower every single day. So I showered, put the sh same shirt back on, but I did take it off and it got changed into my jammies at night. So I didn't sleep in it and I did shower every day, but the shirt, it does not smell. And I'm still really digging the fit. Actually, it kind of, it kind of almost still has that new shirt smell to it. So uh, not only does it not smell bad, it still smells almost brand new. And not worn or washed it. And uh, I will say I wore this last week when it was, we had another like mini heat wave. It was 90 plus almost every day last week. And that's when I wore this shirt and I'm gonna get gross. This is my armpit, I'm going in for it. And it doesn't, it doesn't smell bad at all. I mean, it doesn't really smell like anything. And there's no smell, I don't even smell like detergent or anything. If I get into the body, I can smell a little bit of the detergent still. And again, this has been washed, but been worn three days in a row. And it uh, it doesn't it doesn't smell like it. It doesn't stink at all. I could probably throw this thing on again. Like if I wanted to wear this as like an undershirt tomorrow, it's pretty wrinkly, so I probably wouldn't wear this just as a shirt. But if I uh, if I wanted to throw this as, on as an undershirt tomorrow, I could probably wear this for uh, four days in a, well not in a row but four days without washing it, and it'd be fine. Now this is the Oxblood brand new. Well, this definitely yeah. I mean, this smells like a brand new T-shirt. This smells like freshly out of the cellophane. So freshly out of the cellophane, and then, yeah, this just smells like, this just smells like laundry detergent, but the, yeah, the one I'm wearing doesn't really smell like anything. I'm kind of just smelling, I'm smelling my hands. I could smell the soap that I washed my hands with a little while ago, but more than anything else. But the black one, Three day, I wore this three days in a row last week. So not only did I wear this three days in a row, I wore this three days in a row last week when it was super hot and I have not washed it since. And it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't smell. Like I'm, I'm in there and it still doesn't smell. So the only thing, 
that's really distinguishing these shirts is the uh, stages of wrinkliness. Brand new, less wrinkly, wash but not worn, a little wrinkly because I didn't, I didn't, uh, I kind of just threw it in a drawer. Uh, worn two days in a row, washed and worn two days in a row, not too bad. Worn three days in a row, needs to be washed, pretty wrinkly. But how do I like these shirts? Do I think these are worth $88 a piece? And honestly, yeah, I love these things and they're definitely worth the money. One of the things with me, the reason I had never really worn merino wool was it, there's a high price tag on this. My only real experience with merino wool was merino wool socks. Um, and they're expensive for socks. I did have the luxury of years and years and years ago, I worked at a retail store and a rep came in from Smart Wool and gave me a whole bunch of Smart Wool socks. I'm talking like I had like maybe 18 pairs of Smart Wool socks. And I really only wore them in the winter when it was really cold. So this is probably going back like 13, 14 years ago, if not more, um, probably more, probably more like 15 or 16 years ago. And I just threw the last pair out uh, last winter. So my only real experience was with, was with smart wool merino wool socks and they were all the ones that I had forever. They were incredibly comfortable. Uh, they did not smell nearly as bad as my regular socks in the winter, uh, which is why I wore them only in the winter. They were heavy socks, but I always shied away from merino because of the heavy price tag on the clothing and uh, I, it scared me away. I was like, I don't want to spend, you know, 80, 90, 100 plus dollars on a merino shirt and then throw it in the washer because I didn't think about it and I threw the merino wool in the washer and I washed it and I ruined the shirt or pilled it up or I hear the horror stories about people wearing backpacks and it pills your shirt. Now I have worn a backpack on all of these shirts and here you can see the one that I wore the most heavily, the black. There's the black, the back of it, there's no pilling. There's no pill. There's, if anything, it's wrinkly and covered in dog hair, but there's no pilling, absolutely no pilling on the back of the shirt. And I've worn this with several different backpacks, uh, Cordura, VX, I've worn it with slings, um, whatever the uh, Tropic Feel backpack was made of, different like air mesh back panels and stuff, no issues at all, no pilling on these shirts. So I am. Um, I'm a believer now in merino wool and why people use these for like minimalistic travel and, and like nomadic uh, traveling nomads and whatnot because they're great. This thing was, I'm a sweater, this thing was worn a lot in the 90 degree heat and it doesn't smell and I can, you can wash these, you know, a little bit of Dr. Bronner's, wash it in the sink in the hotel in the hostel, hang it up to dry. It, they dried pretty quick. I mean, I don't, I don't know how long they physically took to dry, just kind of hung them and walked away, but I've thrown clothes, I've hung clothes up that I've washed in the summer and sometimes it take like two days to fully dry it. I'm talking t-shirts, not even like jeans. Jeans will take forever. But these were dry the next day. Uh, I don't know how long they took. I didn't like, you know, check them hourly or anything, but all I did was wash them with a little bit of Dr. Bronner's in a bin. I kind of sudsed up the water, soaked it. I thought about filming it, but I realized you, you don't really want to watch me do my laundry. And when I'm doing laundry, especially by hand, I just want to get it done and over with. So I threw a little bit of Dr. Bronner's in a bin, filled it with some water, fit, rinsed them all out, fizzed it up, soaked them out, rinsed them out, hung them up, dried them, put them back on my body. So all in all, all in all, yes, I think the proof 72 hour merino wool t-shirts are definitely, definitely worth your 88 bucks. I am totally satisfied. These are going in my kit to go with me to Disney in like three weeks. So I will be wearing these probably, I'm going going to the parks for five days, four days of which will be all day at the park. I will probably wear one a day because it's still gonna be hot and humid in Florida in, uh, in October. So um, even though I can wear these and I know I can wear them for three days in a row in the heat, um, I am going to the Florida heat so I'm probably going to really sweat, especially since I'll be carrying a backpack and everything and probably carrying a five-year-old child on my shoulders for a lot of that trip. So I'm gonna bring them all. I'll probably wear one a day. I'm also gonna bring some cotton tees because um, we're gonna spend some time down at the pool as well. So I'll bring, a, just bring the cotton tees, use them for the pool. But yeah, if you were looking at the Proof 72 Hour Merino Wool Anything, they make t-shirts, they make polos, they make sweatshirts, I think there's long sleeve shirts, uh, any of the Proof 72 Hour Merino Wool stuff, it's great, I love this stuff. I am definitely a believer now. Um, I'm considering picking up a hoodie for the Disney trip, 
Don't know if that's gonna be overkill, if I'm gonna want the hoodie on my body. Still might be too warm even to keep the sun off me. I was thinking about wearing it as like a, a sun shirt, but uh, I think knowing my body makeup and chemistry in October, I might have to wait in, if I was going in like December, I would definitely grab one, but I'm on the fence. I may pick one up and wear it in Disney, but that might be too much for me. But definitely going to bring all four of my 72 hour t-shirts. I'm gonna wear the hell out of them down there. So if you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications the next time I post a brand new video. Good night. Mm -hmm.